Hello, so today I have a very newly made analog collage and hand cut and new made here 2024. I just finished it the other day. And this is a piece that I've made with the uh, to be offered for um <clears throat> for a uh, auction that's uh, coming up to benefit the people in Palestine in especially in Gaza I believe um so uh, I came up with two pieces and this is one of them and I've yet to find out if they want them or not um so this is a place a uh, piece that um I, I kind of titled from this uh, caption from there was actually a little bit below this image on the original cover for uh, this, this piece of image came from the cover of an issue recent issue of called the New European of a weekly newspaper and um, so I hope they don't mind me using that it's for a good cause um, so basically yeah, this uh, the state the headline said Netanyahu has no plan but chaos and death so that's why I put that on there I thought it um, worked on there quite well uh, but I haven't written the title on the back yet so which I watch what I normally do so I'll just tell you what I did here so what I did was for the blood splatter what I did was I actually got a font um, that does blood splatters and I just like put those I would start to be lazy instead of splattering out ink myself i uh, just typed those on there in, ver in various patterns until we got it what you have here and so and i deliberately had the shape space there so it would be crowned the people here would be crowned by the blood and i um can't really see it too well with the camera but if you were to look up closer to you, what i've done is i have actually glued two pieces together and this is on a lighter piece of paper than the uh, the one on the back and basically I'd have a, I'd, um, printed off two of those and so reversed and up the other ones upside down to it and I don't know if you can see from there or, um, or moved about a bit so if you were to look very closely uh, you could actually see the, some of the shadows of blood on the uh, through this piece of paper and the missiles here are what I just found some images of the, uh, an image of a missile and basically I Put them all together on one file and printed them off so because i know the kind of artwork i do i'm going to come i'm going to need to come across i'm going to need to use missiles more than once so and obviously this these are two um palestinian children in a bombed out war zone so that's what this piece is it's uh it's it doesn't pull any punches and it does what it says on the tin so um as as they say it, it is what it is it's, it, it cannot be anything other than um so this is one of those ones where sometimes i describe my artwork as um as in two in two different styles either it's either uh, w sort of weird or angry this is the angry type my you know my political artwork so let me know what you think of this. Um, hopefully, if uh, they accept it, you'll be able to bid to actually have this um, this exact piece. And if if they do, if they do, I shall put a um, I shall put a post on um, and uh, probably a YouTube short saying, or maybe another video saying about this. So, um, the bid, the auction will be in May. It's um, it's um, I can't, unfortunately, I cannot remember the name of the people that will that are behind it. But I'll uh, once I can recall that information, I'll uh, put it in the description if I can. Uh, through through an in, a couple of Instagram accounts. That's how I found out about it. So as always, like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments, please. And um, in the description has my um, links to my merch and my socials. And I shall see you, hear from you soon. Thank you.